you might notice my co-host Roger Ruffin is not here, and that's certainly a result of what happened just last Saturday night at Bone Crusher's National Pro Wrestling Training Center. You heard about it, the public ultimatum by the revolution to Roger Ruffin, and the revolution did not like what Roger Ruffin had to say, and oh boy, did things get violent quick. A beatdown of Roger Ruffin, but we are expecting Roger to show up here sometime here during Bust and Loose. Saturday, December the 29th, NWF Action at Fairfield's UAW Hall, one of the biggest cards of the year, closes out the year, and you know Christmas fast approaching and wooden tickets to the big event, December the 29th, be a great present, stocking stuffer, put it inside the Christmas card, give it away because it's coming up. You can get your tickets at Hooterville Sports Cards and also the BP station on Main Street. Now, if you miss Bone Crusher, shame on you, but we're gonna give you a recap right now of what you missed. Sean Bossman here, the boss of pro wrestling with the NWF recap. And where is Chiron? Where could he be? We're still looking for him. Two weeks in a row. No show. I'm looking for the answers and I'll bring them to you as soon as I find them. But there was plenty of action tonight here at Bone Crushers as the revolution came this close to losing that NWF Tag Team Championship, but underhanded tactics prevailed. They still had the straps. And the fans were treated by a visit from Chad Allegra, who said that he will defeat Jay Donaldson in Fairfield to become the NWF of champion once again. But before he left, he told that little guy, Justin Lane, through way of Roger Ruffin, I have set up a match between you and Francis Furlong, fellow referee, and the two of them will meet one-on-one -on -one in the ring, and then a shot from Chad Allegra. You had to see it to believe it. On top of that, we had the big confrontation between Revolution and Roger Ruffin. As Revolution are demanding that Roger Ruffin hand over the NWF, he said he wouldn't do it. They attacked him, but Angel and Matt Stevens fortunately came down. I think we're going to see a lot more from that. And then we had the Tri-State Championship match. T-Money almost becoming the championship, but that Fanny Pack of Danny Todd came into play again. Danny Todd, still the championship. So much action, I can't even fit it all in. You're gonna have to come to the next NWF event. I'm Sean Bossman saying TNTMF. Wow, you saw what a wild night we had just last Saturday night at Bone Crusher's National. Roger Ruffin just arrived. Roger, come on in. Good to be here, Slick Rick. Glad you made it. If it's all right with you, let's just move on with Bust Loose. I'd rather not talk about what happened at Bone Crushers, but just one word of advice for the revolution. The CEO has said it before, and I'll say it again. I am not afraid of the revolution. Fairfield, December the 29th. I know you do want to talk about that. What a great night it's going to be, and including on this card, you're going to see... Angel in action against Chucky Smooth, and I can't believe what happened last time after their match was over. After the match was over, Chucky Smooth took that big fur coat that he wears down in the ring, and he put it on Angel. He put the jewelry on Angel. He was trying to mock Angel. He was trying to insult Angel. Well, I know Angel. I've known Angel for a long time, and Angel don't take very kindly to people trying to insult him. Wow, he can't wait to get his hands on Chucky Smooth. Country Wild, Matt Stevens, Saturday, December the 29th, goes one-on-one -on -one with Brody Cormick once again. What a rivalry here. It's going to be a big one. I'll tell you what, Slick Rick, Kurt Shepard's bringing him down the ring. He's bringing down the ring for what? A no disqualification match. Wow, the rules are thrown out. It's out of the window. They have met several times before, and I believe, Slick Rick, the result has been a disqualification each time they have met. Well, this time it won't end up that way because there's no DQ, Slick Rick. And I believe that Country Wild Matt Stevens is going to get the better of Brody Cormack. Guess who's coming to Fairfield December the 29th? Tell me, Slick Rick. Mark W. Morris is back, and he's bringing Playboy Scott Hayes. And in their sights, genuine superstar Anthony Bryant. It has got in the crawl 
of the Playboy Scott Hayes that he has claimed all along that he is the superstar, yet the genuine superstar Anthony Bryant has been using that moniker and he has been insulted to no end that Anthony Bryant has been doing this. Well, these two have collided. Mark W. Morse has hit him with that briefcase not once, not twice, but maybe three or four times. And it's going to come to a head the 29th of December. Let's hear from the stars of the Northern Wrestling Federation. August 29th, Fairfield, Ohio. Brody, no disqualification. Now what's that mean exactly? That means you can use that baseball bat. You can bring a catcher's mitt. You can wear cleats. Do whatever you want, Murray. You can bring Kurt, he can get involved. It also means that I can lock you in that snare ankle lock and wait for the tendons to snap and the bones to crack, Brody, because grabbing the rope won't do nothing for you. Fairfield. And DQ. All of our matches recently, they've all been ended in disqualifications. The refs, they can't stop it. It can get as brutal as we want it to be. And they can't stop it. Then this match won't be stopped until there's a clear winner, Brody. You know, all because you decided to line yourself with Kirk Shepard, manager of champions. What champion does he manage? None. And as long as Matt Stevens has anything to do about it, he won't manage any Brody. So Fairfield, bring everything you've got. Because Matt Stevens and Brody Cormick, we're making this as brutal as it can get. December 29th, the Northern Wrestling Federation is live in Fairfield at the UAW Hall. Playboy, one last time you will step into the ring with the Northern Wrestling Federation's one and only true, genuine superstar. Playboy, Mark Morris, you make sure you bring your briefcase because in Fairfield on December 29th, I am going to be your judge, your jury, and your executioner. Chucky Smooth, when will you kids ever learn that you cannot make a veteran of this business look like a fool? No, better yet, when will you kids ever learn that you cannot make a NWF original look like a fool? I beat you from Fort Wright, Kentucky to Fairfield, Ohio. <laughs> you still haven't learned. But since you haven't learned anything yet, I'm going to teach you one final lesson. Fairfield, on the 29th of December, <laughs> that lesson times you have to take a cheap shot to try to win you will never never make the NWF original warrior look like a fool no matter how how much you try I'm just going to keep on trying <laughs> Next week, Bust and Loose will be on location as part of the big holiday season. I said on location. Slick Rick is going to be awesome. Christmas time. I love Christmas. And that's a little bit of a hint where it's going to be at. It's going to be Christmas oriented and it's going to be great, uh -huh. Slick Rick. It is. And I'll tell you what, we're talking about Christmas. we got to, again, talk about Christmas gift ideas because we're here to help you. Absolutely. Get your advance tickets now. Stocking stuffers, I'm telling you. For December the 29th, the big event in Fairfield, and you can buy those advance tickets at Hooterville Sports Cards and also the BP Station on Main Street in Hamilton. you got something to say. Everybody has that person on their list. What do I get them? What do I get this guy? What do I get my aunt? What do I get my uncle? What do I get my cousin? You get him an NWF wrestling ticket. 
Whether they come to our show or whether they don't come to the show, there's one thing we guarantee. You are going to have a good time at the NWF. Hey, you talk about the NWF, talk about Fairfield. Listen, I understand the NWF has some new faces coming in right there in Fairfield. Right there, December 29th. Newcomers are coming to the NWF. Ricky Shane Page, and what an athlete this man is. He will be at the UAW on the 29th, and then a tag team that we have heard about, and we've heard about them for a long time. Who is it? We just don't know who they're after. They, they did send word that they are going to come here, and they are going to make a big impression. They're called the Young Studs, and they will be in Fairfield on the 29th. NWF title is also on the line part of this big event closing out 2012 at Fairfield's UAW Hall. The NWF champion Jay Donaldson along with Justin Lane, we know that, puts the title on the line against, I can't believe it, you tell him, against the Machine Gun. Chad Allegra is going to be in Fairfield on 20. Looks like Rick. These guys have what a history they have behind them. They're former best friends, former tag team partners, and then they have battled one another time and time again in classic matches. Wow. And they hook up again. Slick Rick. Yes. Let's just... You know what I want for Christmas? I want a brand new NWF champion in Fairfield on 20. That's what Roger Ruffin wants for Christmas. Wow. What do you want to do in 2013? NWF slamming in the new year will take place at Bone Crushers on January the 1st. So much going on. What a great time to be in the Northern Wrestling Federation and to be a part of it. Speaking of which, we've got some highlights to show from our last event at Bone Crushers. Always remember, Slick Rick, the NWF is excitement, excitement, and action glorified. We will see you next time on Location.
right here tonight, December the 15th, and I'm just going to turn over the NWF to you? That would be the right thing to do for you. Yeah, no, and for no, these people. No, no. For these people. No. I want to tell you guys something. I want you to listen up real good. Because I know that you guys are still young guys, and you guys are still relatively new at this business. But this And you want me to give it to you? No! 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 no. 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 We open these doors every Saturday night, whether it's here, whether it's in Fairfield, Harrison, or in Kentucky. We open these doors and we try to provide these people with their money's worth. We come out here and we sweat and we bleed and we give them pure sports entertainment like they deserve. And I take pride in that. There's nights where I lose my butt. There's nights where I walk home from here and I say, how can I continue this? I continue this because I love this. If you want the Northern Wrestling Federation, there's only one way to get it. And that's over my dead body. <laughs> I am so glad. So you're saying you wouldn't give the Northern Wrestling Federation to the revolution. Over your dead body. That's right. Why did you do that? That's funny. <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> because that was choice number two. But since you haven't learned anything yet, I'm going to teach you one final lesson. Fairfield, on the 29th of December, <laughs> that lesson will be that no matter how bad you injure me, no matter how many times you have to take a cheap shot to try to win, you will never, never make the NWF original warrior look like a fool. 
no matter how how much you try, I'm just gonna keep on trucking. 